why don't the Muslims take advantage of these times in which there's a guaranteed accepted dua? Al ulama, rahimahumullah, when they discussed this one hour in which the dua is accepted on a Friday, pretty much there was almost 40 opinions. But from among these 40 opinions, there are two opinions that stand out firm and clear and authentic. The first of them is that this hour, and by the way, when we say hour, we do not mean 60 minutes, right? An hour could mean more than 60 minutes, could be less than that. It's a time during the day, a moment during the day. That's how a sa'a is to be understood. So this moment of an accepted dua during the day of Friday, there are two yani, uh, authentic opinions that have been narrated. And, and listen to them carefully, and then listen to what Ibn Hajar rahimahullah, commented on this so beautifully. The first opinion is that this moment of an accepted dua on a Friday is when the Imam is sitting between the two khutbah. So when the first khutbah is given, then the Imam sits and then he gets up for the second khutbah. That sitting of the Imam is where that moment of dua is accepted and for you to make that dua. Or it could be also in where the Imam prays and he's in sujood or in his salat and that dua in salat al jumuah in the sujood will be an accepted dua. And the second opinion, and it's a famous opinion as well, and it's backed up with a hadith that are authentic. It is the last hour on a Friday, which is just before the sun sets. At that moment, somewhere there, maybe half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, maybe one hour, maybe more, more than that, Allahu A'lam. But the idea is that these two moments are supposed to be taken serious by the believer. Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah, he said that both opinions are correct. And he said, because this suits the generosity of Allah Azzawajal. Why should we prefer one opinion over the other when both of them have authentic ahadith? Therefore, a smart, intelligent believer will take advantage of these two moments. When the Imam sits down between the two khutab, make dua in that time. That's a time of an accepted dua. And its hadith is reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. That's a time of an accepted dua. And in Salat, it's not a time for sleep. People are sleeping at that time. People are playing with their phones at that time. That's a time of an accepted dua. Make dua at the time. Allahu Akbar. You're sitting in the masjid. You're listening to a khutbah. The angels are sitting listening. When the people are playing on their phones. Make dua during this time. And then when we pray Salat al-Jumu'ah, make dua. Make dua in your sujood. Allahu A'lam. That could be a moment of the accepted dua that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us and told us that on Friday there's a moment in which the dua is accepted. It could be that. It could be in Salat al-Jumu'ah, in your sujood. And then also take advantage of the last hour, of the last hour of the day just before the sun sets. Take out 20 minutes. Take out half an hour. Take out one hour of your time. Sit in your room. Lock your room. Sit and make dua. Beg Allah Azza wa for what you want. Walhamdulillah, this is something given to us as an opportunity every Friday. Ka'ab radiallahu anhu thought it once a year. So imagine how happy and how excited he was when he was told this happens every week. Allahu Akbar. And there are Muslims that don't know about this. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Wallahi, the point of my lesson today is not to just teach you. Take these words and spread it to the world. Spread it to all our brothers and sisters in Islam. They need to hear that on a Friday, there's a special moment in which the dua is accepted. And this special moment could be between the two khutbah of the Imam when he sits, or in Salat al-Jumu'ah itself in your sujood, or it could be in the last hour on the day of Friday, just before the sun sets. Take advantage of these times. Into my brothers and sisters in Islam, isn't there anything that bothers you in your life in which you want from Allah Azza wa to resolve for you? Aren't you bothered by your sins that you want Allah Azza wa to remove them from you? Is it any of among us in sickness and in pain and he wants Allah to remove and alleviate this pain from him? Don't any one of us, don't you all want the paradise and to be saved from the fire? Don't you want Allah Azza wa to forgive your sins? Then what are you waiting for? Why don't the Muslims take advantage of these times in which there's a guaranteed accepted dua? Allahu Akbar, Ibn Hajar rahimahullah, he's saying, do not choose, pick and choose between these two opinions. Take advantage of both times because this is what suits Allah's generosity. Allah is generous. Allah will accept and can accept the dua in the first opinion in where that moment of accepted dua is between the two khutbah of the Imam when he sits. 
And it could also be the last moment of the day of Friday. It could be. That's Allah's generosity. Why are we limiting Allah's generosity to one opinion? My brothers and sisters in Islam, take advantage of this time.